Big news, just this morning, I got my second COVID vaccination, my second dose. I got the Moderna shot. So in two weeks, I should be ready to see the world again. I can get my hair cut, finally. It hasn't been cut in well over a year. I'm getting really tired of it. It's very messy, it's way too long. I'm ready to get it cut. I can start going to restaurants again. We have been to a few outdoors. I can start shopping in person. We can travel over the summer when I'm not working. We'll still be careful. I know you're still supposed to wear your mask and everything, but the data is looking good on how well the vaccines are working. So very excited. So far with the second dose, my arm is a little bit sore at the injection site, but otherwise no symptoms. I know I may get sick later today or tomorrow, we'll see, but I am very excited to be fully vaccinated. All right, now let's talk mini push-ups. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is that you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage. That's where I post deals, rare finds, coupon codes, so keep an eye out for that. All right, in this video, we're going to compare three mini pochettes. I have the one from Louis Vuitton, the Nolita 15 from Coach. This is actually a Coach outlet piece, and the latest addition to my mini pochette collection, the mini pochette from Dress Up Your Purse. And this piece is what inspired this video. Melody from Dress Up Your Purse sent this to me, so I wanted to compare it to these other two to see what we think. Pros, cons. We'll do a visual comparison with the three. I'll give you dimensions. We'll talk about the different features of each, the construction, the options like straps, colors, things like that, and we'll do a wet fits. I'll also tell you about why I have those bags behind me. First, a visual comparison. Okay, there are the three pochettes. I'm putting the Vuitton in the middle so you can see the ends there, and you can see the bases of them here. So you may be able to tell right away which one is the biggest, which one is the smallest. And then I can't hold them up side by side doing all three, so I'll do the Vuitton and the Coach. So you can see the front and get an idea of the structure there and the size difference. And the Vuitton next to the Dress Up Your Purse piece. So you can compare those two. And the Coach next to the Dress Up Your Purse piece. So the Louis Vuitton comes in the smallest, I think you could tell. And the way I measured the base on this is the inside of the seam, corner to corner. It's a little hard because of the curved corner there. But this is 5.75 inches long. It is 3.5 inches high. And then the depth I measured in the center there, and it's one inch. It was slightly over one inch. The coach, I'm looking down at my notes here, measures almost six inches across, just, just under, four inches high, and 1.25 inches in depth. So you gain a quarter of an inch on this one in depth, and you gain a half inch in height. And Dress Up Your Purse comes in at 5.75 across, which is the same as the mini pochette, but four inches high, which is half an inch taller, and 1.5 inches wide or deep, which is a half inch wider. The Louis Vuitton mini pochette is made of a coated canvas. It comes with a chain strap that you can remove from one side and attach to the other. It's not completely removable. It has a zipper along the top with this leather tab. And on all three of these, they're sewn so that there's a little seam on the outside right there. The inside is lined in canvas. The Coach Nolita 15 is leather, all leather on the outside. It has a leather handle that, just like the mini pochette, is removable on one side but not the other. So you could have it like this as a little handle or you could attach it to the other side as a wristlet strap. It also has a little leather tab here. It has the zipper on top, and inside it is also lined in fabric, but it has two card slots here. Now the pouch from Dress Up Your Purse, the coach leather is a pebbled leather. This is a Nappa leather, it's a very smooth. It has the seams on the outside, just like the other two. They're more prominent on this one and on the coach piece than they are on the Louis Vuitton. Now this currently does not have a handle on it. That's because it comes with two different handles. I'll show you those in a few minutes. 
and they are both, as you can see, completely removable. So you have these two D-rings here. You could use these straps that come with it, or you could put your own on it. It has one zipper. It does not extend beyond the bag like the other two do with the little flap. So the opening may be a bit smaller and it comes stuffed, so let me unstuff it. The inside is lined with fabric. You have one big slip pocket right here and you have a zipped pocket on the other side. So this is probably the fanciest interior of all three of the pochettes. The straps it comes with are both chains and they're both in gold on this piece. One is a short chain, looks like this. It's quite a bit chunkier than the Louis Vuitton chain, as you can see chunky chains are in. So that could be decorative. You can just hold it, use it as a clutch, or you could use that as a handle. Put it over your arm. It's very pretty. I think it really adds something. You know, when we didn't have the chain on it before, it looks pretty plain. That's nice. I like that a lot. The other chain is a crossbody chain, and there's a close-up of it. Very pretty. Also decorative looking. And I put this chain on along with the other one so you can see what they both look like together. Looks like that. That's really pretty, I think. I just remembered I have a bunch of these tiny tassels from Dress Up Your Purse, and I thought that could look really pretty attached to the side of the bag. Now this blue, they're not the same blues. They don't quite match there, but it still looks pretty good. If you didn't want to go with an almost matching blue, there's also this blue that's shimmery, or this burgundy that looks really nice, or my personal favorite, the gold metallic. That's beautiful. And any of these pochettes have those D-rings on both ends, so you could add tassels to any of them. Melody also sells these chains separately, so if you wanted to get a chain and add it to one of those bags, or to another bag, you certainly could. But if you are someone who does not carry much and you wanna carry a mini pochette as a bag, or you could even attach this to your waist somehow. I've seen people attach mini pochette kind of bags to their belts as little belt bags, or if you're tiny enough, you can wrap the chain around your waist. There are lots of ways you can do this. And this pochette does come in a few other colors. Actually, the Louis Vuitton one does too, of course. The Vuitton mini pochette comes in monogram, in damier ben, in damier azur, and then there are lots of limited edition pieces that have different animations on them, like illustrations. Those are all over the place. This Coach Nolita 15, this was on the Coach outlet, and it's no longer there. I don't know if they'll bring it back. I think they sold out pretty quickly, so it seems like a piece they would bring back so they can sell more. When I saw it, if I remember correctly, it was only available in black, but it would not surprise me if they bring it back in other colors. The pouch from Dress Up Your Purse is available in four different colors. There's black, there's a beige, there's a pink, and there's this blue, which is called navy. Why did I pick the navy rather than one of the other colors? Black would have been my first choice, but I already have this. And then I probably would have gone with beige as my second choice, but I recently acquired this, the Louis Vuitton one in the Dami Azur, so that pretty much covers the beige category. And when Melody offered me the blue one, I thought actually that's perfect because I have several blue bags and this will look fantastic in there. And I've started a mini collection, just three pieces now, of blue SLGs. So now I have this and I have this little Coach denim coin purse, zipped coin, which also sold out on the Coach Outlet website. I have this little coin pouch or card pouch that's from Starbucks of all places. So I thought these three would be really cute together. Could even put it in one of my clear bags. That would look nice. And let me just tell you really quickly about the bags behind me because sometimes I'll have bags behind me and then I get questions like I don't say what they are and people ask so I'll just tell you. This tote is from Ted Baker. I love it. I think it's called Masquerade, the print, and I don't think they sell it anymore, but you may be able to find it somewhere. It's beautiful. It comes with a little pouch inside too, kind of like how the Neverfull has a flat pouch. This also has a flat pouch. I can't tell you how much I love this tote. It's lightweight, it's a coated canvas, and I just love that print and the sort of ombre-ness of it. Very pretty and well-made and it holds a lot and it's lightweight, it's wonderful. This I recently unboxed, it's my Coach from the Coach Outlet. I call it a field tote because that's what they call them at the boutiques, but technically this is called the Dempsey tote and this one's in denim and this is the 40 centimeter size, 40 centimeters, so it looks like that on one side and it has the big circle on this side which is like an off-white or very light cream color. 
and I have a whole video on this. I'll link it below. Love this. If it's too big for you, but you like the style, they have two others in a smaller size. If they're still available, I will link them below in the description box. I have been carrying this to work since I got it. I love it. And this is my Rebecca Minkoff ED bag in the denim. And this is the shoulder bag. And the shoulder bag, there are two sizes of. There's this size, and then there's a smaller one. If you would like a larger one, Rebecca Minkoff just released these EDs in the maxi size. It's a quick comparison. It's quite a bit bigger. I love this so much. Very, very happy with it. I've carried it pretty much every day since I got it. I forgot to mention in that video, the chain is very lightweight and the whole bag is pretty lightweight. Even when I have it stuffed like I do now, especially if I have both straps on my shoulder, it hasn't been too heavy for me at all and I have back problems. So I've been really impressed with that as well. But they just released the maxi size in the same blue denim and then they also have like a dark black wash denim. So if you like the denim and you like this, you can get it. So what do I think about these three mini pochettes? Where's the other one? Somewhere on my desk. Here it is. Uh, what do I think about them overall? I haven't had a chance to use the dress up your purse one yet or or the coach one very much. I will say that even though the mini pochette from Louis Vuitton is the smallest one, I do love that the coated canvas is so thin and malleable. You can really fit, oh, I haven't done the what fits yet. Let's do that. You can really fit a lot in here. Let's do that while I'm talking. So I have my little coach card holder with my insurance cards, like my health insurance cards, some sanitizing wipes and some band-aids. This is what I've been keeping in my mini pochette and carrying around with me. My Chanel double-sided mirror. I'll link that below too for you if you're interested. My little um, Swiss Army knife. My medication in case my back goes out to the point that I need meds, which is rare, but I always carry them around anyway because when I need them, I need them. And something I forgot I had, a little coconut covered chocolate, chocolate covered coconut, that's right candy that someone at work gave me. So that all fits in there and it pretty much takes up the whole thing and I can still zip it. You can see it's a little bit bulky there, but it doesn't damage the bag. It, it works really well. So let's see how this stuff fits in the other two. So this is the coach one. Everything fits just as well in there. This and the dress up your purse are a little taller, so you might be able to fit like a pen across there or something. And zipped up, that doesn't look too bulky to me. And here's everything in the dress up your purse pouch. It fits similarly to the coach, but you also have the two pockets in here, remember? So I could put the band-aids in there, or you could put cards in here. You could use this as a mini purse, which is really nice. That's a big advantage for this piece. Plus you get the different color options, the chains. It's much cheaper than the Louis Vuitton as well. This is $59. I don't even know what the mini pochettes from Vuitton are going for now. Are they over $400 at this point? And they're hard to find. This is easy to find. It's only $59 and it comes with the chains. So in all honesty, for me, there's not a clear winner here. They're all great pouches. They work similarly. There are advantages and disadvantages to both. These two are a little bit more bulky, but they also hold a little bit more, and they're both leather if you care about that. This is a little smaller, a little more lightweight, a little more prestigious, but also a lot more expensive. So I'd say you can't go wrong with any of them, but I hope that helped you make your decision if you're thinking about any of them, or maybe it gave you some ideas for things you hadn't thought about before. So again, all of this will be linked, or whatever I can link, will be linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you back here next time. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well. I hope you're also able to get your vaccination soon if you haven't already. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.